What is up, everybody? Squidish here, bringing you the basically obligatory knees up video. New God, obviously, got to have a video. Now, I know. I said I was going to do a Freya, and then I did on her instead. And then I continued to not do Freya because this is knees up. But, here's what happened. Now, listen a sec. Did you hear that? Listen real carefully, you hear it? Yeah, me either, because I figured out how to fix the stupid high-pitched whining bullshit. So, with that fixed, I went through and deleted all the smite recordings I had, because that shit was annoying. And now that I figured out how to make it go away, I'm just gonna do new recordings. And I've been dicking around with Nizaw because Nizaw is imbalanced, put it gently. And Thor did not try to fight me. What the? That was totally unnecessary, but killing people with his three makes me happy. And yes, it is a him, regardless of all appearances. It's just like a 12 year old boy. Anyway, this is Niza. And this is possibly the most fucking broken lane combo in the game right now. Niza is ridiculous. His damage is just astronomical. But his one downside is he has no decent escape unless you want to throw away your ult for it. And he's very, very squishy. Well, Aphrodite kind of negates all that for you. <laughs> Aphrodite gives you a knockback. She carries around stuns for days. And she makes... Thor? I swear to God, Thor. Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. An enemy has anyway. Been and she turns you from a squishy... Uh, Thor. Could have just left. Could've just left, I gave you a chance. I'm gonna actually get away, god damn it. Son of a bitch. Really hoping that ring was just gonna bounce to him one more time. Anyway, Aphrodite removes the mana chugging and the squishiness and all that because sustained for days. So, that removes Nizaz's biggest downside. And then you pretty much, really you're not gonna go back? Really? All right, that was, that was your last chance, buddy. I'm sorry. I can't get any more than that. I'll tower dive you. I'll tower dive for days. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck! I don't give a single fuck! Now, I played with this Aphrodite about two or three games in a row the other day. After I discovered how totally fucking ridiculous this is. So... I don't even know what else to say about Nizaw. I think if his passive and his two were toned down a little bit, he'd be fine. Because realistically, this Thor is not good. Um, I'm not OP stomping on his ass right now. Nizaw doesn't get OP until you get to mid to late game and get most of his item build finished out. Because once you get up there with your Deathbringer and your Patalis and you're just dropping the 1300 crits on people five times a second, then it gets kind of stupid. But before that, he's a pretty balanced. He. Ah, damn it. It just looks Retreat. like a damn girl. He's a pretty right down, pretty balanced Enemy physical middle. assassin carry thing. Right Sucks back. early game, whoops ass late game. Carry is carry, more news at 11. But, the fucking damage from his passive. How his passive works. Come on, Afro. You got shit to do. How his passive works. You probably noticed. His auto attack isn't just an auto attack. He does like a four swing combo. The third swing does a crap ton of damage. The fourth swing is actually what leveled Hiroshima and hits everything in front of you. So, not only, you know how ridiculous auto attacks get late game when you're dropping six, seven hundred crits on people. Uh, I believe swing four does double the damage of the initial swing. So just flat fucking double that. 13, 1400 crits. Just for days. Not with the fact that with the three and the old being a dash, you can't really. Also this. Also this! This for days! I love this ult! Oh god, I love it! It is the best ult ever. Like, so. Nija can throw down so much combat in the span of like one second that watching this video back there is some points where i'm like i don't even know what the fuck just happened but it was awesome and if people try to run you have your three but yeah, that's another minor downside 
Barring the three in your old... Nizah's got a serious problem sticking to people, but it doesn't have... I mean, his ring is a slow for one second. Your middle like, tower is under Thor. Attack. What are you doing, Thor? What are you doing, Thor? Good effort, buddy. You tried. You tried. Oh, damn it! Get him, ring! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ah, uh, I want to jump in there, but I'm not quite that bloodthirsty. Hebo, however. Hebo ain't getting away. Thor may have 12 escapes, but Hebo will go nowhere. Anyway. Nizah's downsides. Weak early game. Has trouble sticking to people, but spoiler alert. You have this thing called a lane partner to carry you through early game. And secondary spoiler alert. I don't know if you're aware, but there is this thing called a frostbound hammer. Which totally takes out the had difficulty sticking to people. Lap. Oh, look, like they're slowed. And then also, it doesn't matter when, again, you're just dropping 1300s on people with auto attacks and the average lifespan of someone you hit is like 0.4 seconds. Really doesn't matter if you can stick to them. Because they're not their long- Oh, Hebo, you- you done fucked up. And when you get two people right next to each other, the one is awesome. So, pro tip, because every day that I've tried to play these off, there's people who do not understand this. If you do not have minion support, and there is a Niza, I don't even care, it's worth it. It was worth it, kill bitches. Oh yeah, I forgot his passive's not good enough yet. There's also that, when you die, you just spew retarded amounts of health to all your teammates that are standing nearby in an AoE for a couple seconds. So, yeah, Niza. Niza, you silly little boy. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. If you're facing a knees off, you have no minion support. For the love of fucking god, Thor, stop typing and pay attention. Too late, you had your chance. For the love of god, do not just stand there next to your lane partner with nobody else nearby. Because I will press one, I will look in your general direction, and I will hit you for three quarters of both of your health. Every fucking time. Because that little pinball machine is going to rape your fucking soul out. Anubis, get off my tower, bro. Ah! Dragon Ball Z up in this bitch! Boom! Oh! Motherfucker. That'll, that'll do it so much joy. It's so... This god in general is so ridiculous over the top anime style. I mean, even the art style. Look at the just the picture down there. And then the ult where you just turn into Goku and go Super Saiyan on someone's nutsack. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Evo, 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 what did I tell you? What did I tell you, Evo? See, look at this. I'm not even high level. I'm level 10. I hardly even have gear. And I'm just auto attack insta rate. It, it's fucking ridiculous. Oh boy, he's off. Thor. Afro, you chill, Afro. Good effort, buddy. You, you tried. You're trying so very hard. I... Oh, he's gonna run. No, he's not. Fuck you. He actually probably has to get away. Because there's the sticking to people thing again. You know what? I'll take a death. I don't care. Actually, you know what? I'll be fine, actually. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Dive people for days. I don't even care. I usually die when I dive people with these on because he's squishy as fuck, but I don't even care. I just want to kill shit. Now, you may have noticed that I've had one cut so far, and that was from me dying and me walking back out of spawn. Because I've had about a jillion of you ask me to upload unedited footage, like just full smite games. And I got an opportunity to do that today. Because this one's just not very long. So I can just upload the entire thing. And I was trying to get like a longer game to do my usual thing again with the standing next to each other. Look at Hebo's health bar. I pressed one once, and now Super Saiyan Hadouka Kamikaze Maya Maya Smash, you're dead. Heart of the cards, bitch. What other popular animes have I not factored in here? Ymir, 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 I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Don't kill me, Tower. No survivors. No survivors. I need to back. I. Need to back. Be right back. Let's do that. Come on, Afro. Come on an adventure, you and I. Alrighty. Executioner maxed out. And that right there. Did you see it? 
Were you paying attention? Because I just showed you how to elevate your Nizar game. From Peon to Goku Super Saiyan 5. If that's a thing. I don't know. I watched Dragon Ball Z when I was like 12 like everybody else. Shut up, don't judge me. You may or may not have caught it. It was pretty quick. It's a pretty, pretty high level strategy. May have eluded a lot of you. But I bought the Fatalis. <laughs> That's fucking retarded. It is. Just, just wait. Wait until I get my Fatalis finished and press 2 it, somebody. It's just disgusting. And once we do finish off the Fatalis, don't worry, gentlemen, I will enlighten you. And the ancient art of Anubis. Anubis! You're lucky. You are so... Why are you using your ult for, like, no reason? My arrow ult for, like... No. Okay. Okay, you ult, I'll auto-attack. We'll see who wins. Oh, looks like it's me. You ult with tower support, I auto-attack. Nisa, victorious! I don't know. Come here? Come here, I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you, too. I'm kind of low on health. I got afro heals though. The fight! Aw, oh, damn it. I'm missing all my fucking sashes. Missing airy sash and. Really? What? I don't even know what's going on in this game. The man just looks at me and. ages. For like. no reason. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know! I'm just gonna throw the bouncing, self reciprocating poke device in there and tell it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna be. Hey, no, no, Mer? You, you're silly, man. Look. Ah, oh, you did it. You did it. Now it's my turn. Now I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> He's a tank! He's a fucking tank! This is ridiculous! Come on! Well, that was awkward. <laughs> Game was so weird. All right, Anubis. I'm tempted to see if I can one-shot you with my ult, but oh my god, I miss every sash. How about I just take you? Ah, oh, fuck. See? All right, I went full retard. I just okay, I was dumb. Don't do that. That's bad. All right, Fatalis complete, and I start up. Damn it! A fucking sash. I, why do I suck so much at smite? Son of a bitch. Oh, it's not like it require, you're required to land any of your skill shots to play Nizal. All you gotta do is look at people and do things. But, anyway. Buff clearing. Nizal's pretty stupid good at it. Hi, Afro. My left tower is under attack. You say that appears to be a tank. And a Hebo. Now I'm about to enlighten you, ladies and gentlemen, on some top-tier Niza tactics. Watch closely. I don't know if you caught it or not. Again, this is pretty high-level shit. But what I actually did was walk forward and hold down the left mouse button. It's, I know, it's tricky. It's tricky to learn. But if you can master this art, you too can be the reigning god Niza and destroy everything. I know, now remember, remember, because I know this is a lot of information just at once. Approach enemy, depress left mouse button. Now, um, if you, if you want to get really into, like, the super MLG pro level stuff, you're gonna want to hold the left mouse button down until it says player killed on your screen. And then you can go do, really, whatever the fuck you feel like with your goddamn news on. You don't get a single fuck. Don't ever let Nizah get fed! Do not let this happen! Or you could be on the other end of this! Look at my attack speed! I don't even know what's happening! Now we're in space! Look at your woman! Look at me! I'm on a horse! Boom! Double kill! Something! Tower! Destruction death! I can't even... What just happened? What just happened? Boom! <laughs> I love Nizah! I know she, he's gonna get nerfed in the shit. I know he, he probably is, but oh god, it's so gross, long last. You're dead. Hey, actually, how's it going? You're dead. Hey, minions, how's it going? You're dead. Anyone else? Oh, it appears there's a tower in front of me. Should I crush it? Sure. Let's walk in this tower. I don't care. What are minions? To press left mouse button. Whack, 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 whack. Ridiculous attack speed. You're dead. Anyone else want to come contest me today? No? Minions? Dead. <laughs> That's the correct answer. 
<laughs> that is the correct answer, enemy T. Oh, high level Nisa. High level Nisa. What the fucking shit. So I guess this can be the warning banner. If you ever allow a Nisa to get fed, that will happen, and it's terrifying. But, in all seriousness, buy a fucking hide of the Nemean Lion. Just do it. Just buy a hide. It's not hard. Buy a hide. Sit down and laugh as Niza crits himself for 800 and just <laughs> dead. Really, people, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. It's right there in the item menu. Reflects basic attack damage. You know, it, the thing that happens when you press left click. Buy a fucking hide! This is Squish. Good day, ladies. <laughs> fucking help me up. Oh, God! I'm not gonna stop this until people wise up and start buying goddamn hides, because this is too much fucking fun. Oh, God. <laughs>